असलम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कॉलेज तक दिस इज फोर्थ ईयर बी एस सी क्लास एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग द टेक्सट ऑफ चैप्टर टू द लास्ट लेसन बाय अल्फांस टाडे As he ran across the square, Baxter, the blacksmith, who, in company with his apprentice, was absorbed in reading the notice, exclaimed, "Not so fast, child! You will reach your school soon enough." Now, apprentice means assistant or pupil, absorbed, completely occupied. exclaimed said in an emotional tone now france says that as he was running across the square uh vector who was the blacksmith of the town and who was there with one of his apprentices one of his students and he was completely busy in reading the notice that was written on that notice board he said in an emotional tone not so fast child that is you should not walk so fast you will reach your school soon enough you will not be late from your school you will reach there soon i believed he was making game of me and i was quite out of breath when i entered monsieur hamel's small domain Now France says that he believed that he was making game of him. Making game means making fun of him. Domain area under control. And he says that when he entered the domain of Monsieur Hamel, or in other words, the classroom where Monsieur Hamel was teaching. when he entered there he was out of breath because of running now at the beginning of the session there was usually such an uproar that it could be heard as far as the street desks were opened and shut lessons recited at the top of our voices all shouting together each of his each of us stopping his ears that he might hear better then the master's big ruler would descend upon the desk and he would say silence now this is what france is telling us that usually when he would go to his classroom uh, what was what would be the scene there that before today when he would enter the classroom and at the beginning of the session at the beginning of the class there was always an uproar uproar mean noise and the noise was so great that it could be heard as far as the street that one could listen to the noise of the children as far as from the street desks were opened and shut and now he is telling us that what kind of noise it was usually children when they would come to the classroom they would open and shut their desks and then they would recite the lessons at the top of their voices to memorize them all shouting together they will all shout together and each of us stopping his ears that he might hear better and each each of them they would stop their ears with their hands and then they would recite their lessons at the top of their voice this was the usual routine at the school whenever he would arrive there and then monsieur hamel he would enter the classroom and then he would 
put his big ruler ruler mean it is big stick uh, he would hit the desk with his stick and then he would order silence that is he would ask his uh, ask the children to be quiet I counted upon making my entrance in the midst of the usual babel and reaching my seat unobserved but upon this particular morning all was hushed sabbath stillness reigned through the open window i could see that my comrades have already taken their seats i could see mosio hamel himself passing back and forth his formidable iron ruler under his arm counted upon hoped or relied babel noise uh, a mixture of a lot of noises basically it is a reference to the tower of babel hushed silent sabbath weekly day of prayer in the religions of the world there is in all the religions of the world there is a weekly day which is considered sacred and holy and the people on that day would go to offer their prayers to worship and that weekly day is called sabbath in case of christians it is sunday when they would go to the church and therefore everybody would be silent in the church and they would pray and therefore france is comparing this silence with the sabbath with the weekly day of prayer reigned ruled prevailed comrades fellows friends formidable powerful and impressive now france says that he thought that when he was about to enter the classroom that there would be so much noise and disturbance and he would be able to enter the class without mosio hamel noticing him so he thought that when he would enter the class in the middle of this usual babel this noise and he would reach his seat without being observed but upon this morning the situation was not the same because when he entered the class he observed that there was complete silence it was the silence that usually one has at the sabbath days when everybody is praying and through the open window he could see that all of his fellow students they have taken their seats and he could also see mosio hamel who was walking back and forth and he is formidable iron ruler his powerful and impressive iron stick it was under his arm i must open the door i must enter in the midst of that deep silence i need not tell you that i grow red in the face and terror seized me now he says that in order to enter the class he must open the door and when he would open the door everybody would notice him because every everything was so silent and he and this thought that he would be observed by all the people and especially the mosio hamel the teacher this made him grow red in the face and terror that is fear it held him it seized him it took control over him but strangely enough 
as Monsieur Hamel scrutinized me, there was no anger in his gaze. He said very gently, Take your seat quickly, my little Franz. We were going to begin without you. I climbed over the bench and seated myself. But when I had recovered a little from my fright, I noticed that our master had donned his beautiful green frock coat, his finest frilled shirt, and his embroidered black silk calot, which he wore only on inspection days or upon those opinions when prices were distributed. Now, Franz says that, but it was really very strange that Monsieur Hamel, when he entered the classroom, he just scrutinized him. Scrutinized him mean took a closer look at him, uh, observed him very closely. And it was strange that in his case, in his look, there was no anger, there was no, uh, means he was not angry with him. He said very gently, Take your seat quickly, my little Franz. We were going to begin without you. Means we were about to begin our lesson without you. I climbed over the bench and seated myself. But when I had recovered a little from my fright, from my fright, from my anger, uh, sorry, from my fear, when I had recovered from my fear, I noticed that our master had donned, donned me for his beautiful green frog coat, that is special coat, uh, which was of green color, his finest frail shirt, he was also wearing his frail shirt, and he was wearing his embroidered black silk cap. And this was a special dress, because he would usually wear this dress on special occasions like prize distribution ceremony or when there was an inspection for the school. So that was end of our today's lesson and we will continue with our text in our next lecture.